Hello and welcome to this tutorial about the new Geronimo product, the Cessna 172S Performance Pack. So I'm excited to show you this uh, and show you around real quick. Uh, this is the mass and balance page. You can enter the uh, weights for the passengers and pilots and baggage. And as you do so, on the right side, you see um, the values are automatically updated and displayed in the envelope display. So when you enter a fuel down here, you also you see two crosses. One is for the takeoff and one is for the zero fuel uh, CG. So as soon as you exceed the moment or the envelope, you will get a warning. So the, the pad will warn you in different cases here. So um, this is one option and I think this is the fastest way to enter weights. Uh, but you can also click on the value and enter the weight manually. So this enter pad will come up and um, you can enter here values and you can also um, do conversions here. Let's say you want to know 10 liters, uh, just click it and you will see it's 2.6 gallons, 2.2 imperial gallons and so forth. Or 10 kilos for example and um, the same for distances and nautical miles and so on. And so on. So in, um, next thing I would like to show you is this little symbol here, the pilot's operating handbook symbol. Whenever you click it, uh, you will get an additional information. In this case here, you will uh, be able to calculate the percent MAC of the Cessna and you will get uh, uh, some information about uh, what happens when you exceed the forward or aft CG, CG limits. So this is the first page. You will see um, or you can see up here this uh, aircraft right now, uh, the name is Ngiron. You can uh, change this name and save all the settings uh, and how to do this I show you later on the, on the setup page. All right, um, down here you have two other buttons. This is the moment envelope, so if you want to see um, the results uh, displayed in the moment envelope, you can do so. And you also have a table view on the right side. Here you can see all the values, mass, uh, the masses and the arms and the moments displayed. And here you can also set your own basic empty weight so you can customize this app for your own aircraft. Also you can enter special weights uh, and fuel allowance. Uh, and um, of course you can change the whole uh, system for, uh, or you can change the units from kilos to pounds and back and forth just by clicking down here. Okay, so when you have done uh, a weight and balance calculation over here, you can send the summary to your email address. Just click on that button here and you will see you can uh, have a summary and just enter your email address up there and it will be sent to you when you click send. So let's get rid of this and let's go to the second page, the takeoff page. So here you can calculate short field takeoff distance and this Calculation comes directly from the pilot operating handbook. So if you click here, you will see this chart. And this chart is actually used uh, to calculate all the values in the app. Uh, what the app does is it interpolates the values between the lines. So what happens if you do not take off from 1000 or 2000? What happens if you take off from 1250 and not at 10 degrees but 17? And this is very hard to do manually and here the good news is the app does that for you. So all you need to do is use the slider, enter the aircraft mass, enter the elevation, OAT, altimeter and so forth. You can enter runway conditions, wind conditions and slope and you will see what happens with your lift off or ground roll um, and the takeoff distance. So this can be quite crazy. So if you have a very long or snowy uh, or wet grass runway, you see you uh, will increase uh, the values quite heavily. So now uh, the wind conditions can be entered as a headwind or tailwind quite simply using the slider, but you can also calculate the wind components. Just click on this button here and you will go to the wind component page. So now Let's enter, start with the wind velocity. Let's say today we have 15 or 16 knots. And now just use this tab in the circle and uh, set the wind direction. Let's say the wind today is from 120 degrees and your runway heading, let's say, is 170, 170 degrees. Now you see you have a headwind from the left as calculated down here. So if the wind would change, now you would have a tailwind. 
and this wind component is forwarded in the wind condition setup down here this is forwarded to your calculations that means once you have set this component you can leave the page you can say go back and the wind component is calculated in this calculation or is forwarded to this calculation so uh, we better don't take off with a tailwind so let's set this to a headwind you can always um, override all your calculations by the way so even if you set a headwind um, for uh, using this calculator if you go back you can always override it same with the aircraft mass um, too so if you get, go back to the mass and balance page and let's say you do a calculation and today your takeoff mass is 2382 pounds this value will be forwarded to the takeoff page here you see it but you can override it so this is this works the same on every page let's go to the next one client page so quite similar you said um, you can quickly set uh, the flight level and the takeoff elevation uh, maybe you don't want to take off from or, uh, from sea level so if you take off from uh, a higher elevation this here uh, this red uh, bar sim um, shows you your actually uh, actual climb distance also again you can set a headwind or tailwind and you can have a look at the poh here again and this is the chart uh, that you know very well from your poh so again all those numbers here are stored in the pad and are interpolated same thing cruise page here it was quite tricky to interpolate it because it's a huge table and a huge amount of numbers so I'm really happy that this worked out so now you can um, just simply set uh, a flight level and see what happens if you change the flight level your range is automatically changed because your your fuel flow is different and your fuel efficiently uh, efficiency is different so you can learn a lot about fuel efficiency by playing here with the sliders you see all the values are displayed um, uh, on the right side using the instruments this little guy here uh, should show you the fuel distribution so let's let's put a little more fuel in here for now let's say we have 46 gallons let's go back to the cruise page now you see the yellow amount um, is the total fuel and the blue amount is what you actually would need for your trip distance so if you change the rpm look what happens you you need less fuel with less rpm yeah who thought about that <laughs> so if you want to fly a little bit more economy or if you if you want to save some money uh, you want to play around with it and find the optimal uh, optimum settings um, if you click here you see the fuel uh, page or fuel overview here you can set the contingency alternate and final reserve minutes let's say you want to give yourself 30 minutes for an alternate of course then you need more reserve fuel but this reserve will be displayed here in this overview so you know aha okay from my 43 gallons of fuel I need this amount as a reserve and this is what I actually use for the flight so I would have a little bit of excess fuel uh, which is not bad to have I think so all right this is this next page is the landing page it's very similar to the takeoff page just use the sliders set everything you can again set the wind component here set the runway heading let's say your runway is one to zero and uh, wind velocity is not too strong today 15 knots so again these this calculation is forwarded to your take uh, landing uh, calculation so click go back and you're um, back on this page all right um, next one is the stall speed um, I think they are pretty, uh, or they are, a lot of accidents happen uh, uh, due to uh, stalls. So I thought this is uh, maybe okay to have and to play around with it. What happens to your stall speed? So it will be displayed here. Stall speed right now is 53 knots. If I increase the bank angle, look what happened to the stall speed. It's now almost, it's 60 knots now. So if I use flaps, 30 then my stall speed goes down to 50 knots which is good but again if I use or if I use excessive bank angle then um, pretty much 
uh, or the stall speed uh, changes a lot. So this is maybe uh, if you play around with it to get a feeling um, for the values and how they change. Again, here's the pilot's operating handbook and you can see uh, what the pilot's operating handbook says about it. All right, last thing is the setup page. You can contact me if you find a bug or if you have uh, additional ideas, whatever. Just let me know. Um, I always try to respond as quickly as I can. Um, video tutorials, I, I hope I can do some more of those in the near future. Um, and also there is the mode section. So you can use the whole pay, um, uh, pad in two modes. Individual mode is what we have just seen. Plan mode. Um, in plan mode, all values will be forwarded from one page to the next. So what is that? Let's go back to mass and balance. Let's say I set a certain weight here, 2,437. Let's go to takeoff. This aircraft mass is now forwarded to this page and the slider is locked because it's already calculated. So uh, now I can set the other values here and if I go to the next, those values that I've already set are locked. So this is way quicker now because I can concentrate only on this, uh, only on the, um, on the, on the uh, flight level in that instance. Next one, cruise page. Uh, only trip distance would be available, landing the same. And um, now that we are in plan mode, we have a summary page. So this page here now shows me uh huh. Okay, I'm taking off from uh, from 2,400. I'm landing at 1,800 MSL, and uh, I see my climb distance, cruise and descent distance, and now I can have a look and see if that makes sense to me. Maybe I made something wrong, or here the wind blows from the southeast and here from the northeast. That is strange. Maybe I have done something wrong. So this is um, the summary page where you have an overview over all your calculations. So this is the plan mode. You can see the plan mode is active if you see the red arrows up here. All right. So let's go back to individual mode. And last but not least, there's the save and load feature. Right now the aircraft is called Engyron. You can rename it or you can um, make a new or create a new aircraft. Just click on one of those empty storage fields and click create new aircraft. Give it a name. Let's say we use November test. I love test. Okay, and uh, now you have a new aircraft called test. It's a very nice call sign. And now you can start over and create the next scenario. And all the values that you enter here will be stored under the name test. So here we are, we have two aircrafts now stored. If you want to go back to Gyron, just click on it and click load and say, okay, that's it. Now you can go back to the mass and balance page and you have uh, November Gyron active again. So uh, I think that's pretty much it. I hope this video, I, I know it was too long, but I, I didn't know how to do it any shorter. All right, see you out there and blue skies. Thanks for watching.